Kathy's not easily offended. <laughs> married to you, I don't know if she could be. <laughs> she she married me, so you know how how smart could she be? For God's sake! <laughs> oh, we're live. That's that's awesome. Uh, hey, everybody! <laughs> uh, thanks for joining us. Now the producer can throw some shit at me. Ah. Uh, Welcome to Murder Hobo Inc., the Mar Goo campaign. You can tell if you've watched this show before, you know who these guys are, but we're going to run through it anyway. Uh, follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to buy our crap, it's down there. If you want to join us in Discord, it's down there. And most importantly, if you want to join us on a one shot of the talk show, go ahead and hit us up, M Hobo Inc., either at Twitter or at Gmail. Let us know. We'll get you a seat in. Uh, this week, however, uh, we're just having the talk show because we've got two offerings for Gen Con that we'll be playing on Friday and Saturday night. Uh, don't forget our sponsors, Pirate Dog, Pirate Dog Dice, uh, who make our dice, and uh, OddFishGames.com. OddFishGames.com has openings on their Saturday show at 4 p.m., uh, to learn how to RPG with your cat. Uh, there are other two shows sold out with 20 seats apiece, but the Saturday show still has a few seats. So if you're interested in that, hit them up. That is oddfishgames.com. Without further ado, let's introduce you to our, we'll call them heroes. Uh, <laughs> Elder Frank, you're up first. I'm Frank Sr. and I'm Leaf the Druid. Confused druid most of the time. Kind of anti druidish. Kind of, sort of, yeah. Yeah. It's kind of not not as herbage as uh, some of the others who we'll get to here in a minute. Uh, middle Frank, how about you? Who are you? Yeah, middle Frank. I am playing Robert of Zeppelin, the half orc bard and speaker and teller of the. I think this is the happiest Jason's been. Oh, freeze frame. <laughs> freeze frame. Everybody's hitting print screen, right? So that we can make a meme out of this. <laughs> eh, got it. <laughs> uh, while we wait for them to come back, Jason, how about you? Who are you? Who are you playing? I am Kopi's Full Bitters the third, the uh, gnomish heir to a brew empire, brewing empire, and part time I witch. <laughs> and I understand you have uh, some fine marketing skills out there. Mad marketing is going on. Some guerrilla <laughs> marketing is happening right now. We've got this Banksy guy just painting my image on the sides of buildings all over Margu right now. Oh, uh, you're going to be arrested. You know that, don't <laughs> you? <laughs> uh, next, next up is Nicholas. Nicholas, who are you? Who are you playing? Um, hi, I'm Nick, and I'll be playing Haggis the Crapstain. And you're in a little bit of trouble today, I believe. I have a lot of street cred, you know. We shall see. Uh, Middle Frank has rejoined us. Uh, we've all gotten our screenshots. Uh, the meme <laughs> generator is in full bore. Uh, go ahead and continue, Robert of Zeppelin. So you want me to finish who I am? Yep. Yeah, oh, okay. I'm the bard, half-orc bard, and the teller of tales and the true story of a hero, a champion. A lover of lover of men and women and whatever else crosses his path. The hero teller of Felix. Uh, you know, we'll see how that goes. Uh, the youngest Frank. Who are you? Who are you playing? I am Man Fang. Also noodle. I'm a dragonborn who joined the <laughs> Oh, wait, baby. <laughs> Own it. They're very good. That's what I'm talking about. Quite the crest statement. Yeah, see. Last but certainly not least, lover of lovers, uh, men of men, heroes of heroes, and currently stoned out of his mind wearing a strange <laughs> mask. Uh, AJ, who are you? Who are you playing? Hello, I'm AJ, and I am playing Felix the Champion, stoned out of my mind, wearing the mask, but, and I don't know how to not touch things that don't belong to me. That is nice. That is sweet. Folks, if you uh, missed last episode, uh, these guys hit, uh, where the hell are you guys at? You guys are at Play Drill, and you have landed in the capital city. This is the jungle domain of the Tabaxi. They are in Eli Toran. Uh, let's just say that their greeting has been less than perfect, although they have stabled their zonkeys and made sure they're okay. They've 
found some gnomes who may or may not be able to assist them in finding the lost ruins of Nazumi, uh, which is also a plus. Then they got to the uh, adventurer shop, uh, proprietor and secret password Philo Beto, and things got a little bit sketchy as Felix the Rogue and Haga's Crapstain opted to find a little meowy wowie, a little catnip, a little drug induced uh, item. Uh, unfortunately, Haggis's mouth overloaded his butt, and uh, he and Felix were fo forced to try out the herbage to make sure it was good and that they weren't the cops. Uh, now, Felix and Haggis are a little bit loopy, and during that time, Felix, who has already pointed out, uh, can't help himself but touch stuff, touched a mask. Uh, Haggis finds it amusing. Felix cannot take the mask off, and uh, the other four have not seen him with it on. Uh, when last we left, uh, Felix and Haggis were being bum-rushed out the back door while Leaf, copious <laughs> jarhead noodle, uh, and Robert were hustled out the front as the cops raided the place. Uh, we rejoin them now as Leaf, followed by copious, followed by Noodle, followed by Robert, are all skirting around the corner of the building to hopefully find their friends. Leaf, your first one up. Give me a perception roll, please. <clears throat> and you're muted. Darn it. Uh, I rolled a 20. 27 is my perception. As you skid around the corner in true cartoonish fashion, the back wall of the Adventurer's Guild is covered in white sinewy material and a pair of tabaxi that you witnessed ushering out Felix and Haggis are stuck up against the building. Copious, as you round the corner, you see Leaf's gaze and also notice the same thing. And as Noodle and Robert round the corner, all four of you Look there, and there is a cart headed out at a very fast pace, and in the back of the cart, two associates rise up. You recognize Haggis, but you can't really make out the other one uh, because he's wearing some kind of face shield of some kind. Uh, the cart hits a bump. Both of them hop up. You see a third head in the back of the wagon and two tabaxi. Wah Smack the burrows harder. What would you four like to do? What distance are they from us? About 200 yards. They are hauling the mail. Oh, well, I got some distance to shoot. This just does 100 to 400. Sure. Felix, catch this. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, it's look a at scroll. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I'll send a message to it. <laughs> Aim for the donkeys, Robert. Yeah. Behind three people, two tabaxi, and the cart. <laughs> hey, I'll hum Bound a little to hit overture. Bound to hit something. Knock that mask off. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, fire at will. How far does mine? Hey. I, while he's figuring that out, how far from the stables are we? Uh, the stables are in front, I believe. They're right next door. Yeah, right next right door? Front. Yeah. So, so. Well, I'll tell them, watch what direction they're heading. I will go get the zonkeys for the four of us and come back. And I'll, go, see I'll go with him to get the zonkeys. Fair enough. Uh, Noodle and Robert of Zeppelin, uh, give me an insight check. Insight. That'll work. No, you're doing. My you're insight. good. Insight, side. I got 18 because my insight's plus three. Mm -hmm. There you go. Uh, you two both keep a rigid eye on it. Copious, uh, Leaf. Who wants to roll against me? See if you can find the OK Corral uh, owner. Leaf will. <laughs> Leaf D12. Now the fridge is gonna say that. Should be pretty easy. Yeah, we've seen Jason's roll. He rolled. <laughs> Seven. What are I we rolled rolling? A two. Yep. Oh, okay. So 
you beat me. Uh, the owner is there, and he asks, uh, back so soon? What can I do for you? Uh, we need to get our zonkeys. Uh, there is a convenience fee to going ahead and removing them prior to the uh, usage agreement. Rest restocking fee when we come back, too, right? Correct. <laughs> saw that one. <laughs> <laughs> He's an entrepreneur. <laughs> He's pulling He's a bit of fur rug. He keeps this shit up. How, Felix how, and Haggis, you guys are still just happy as larks. How much is this restocking fee? Are you not right. chatting? I'm going to lose sight. <laughs> Nuisance fee. I, I like you guys. How about just a gold today? Per. Does that include the restocking fee when we come back? Uh, persuade me. You're new in town. He might cut you some slack. All right. Hmm. Oh. I have well, a shot on this one. mystical story about how wonderful you are, hero. 18. Uh, 18 beats my 15. Uh, I guess you are mystical. I suppose, <laughs> since we forgot to tell you. Uh, yeah, that'll that'll cover it. So Okay, fine. Uh, two All gold right. pieces, or how many zonkeys do you want? We're taking oh. one for each of us that can ride after the wagon. I don't know I'm anything looking, about I'm a wagon. I'm looking at Leaf. I'm talking to Leaf. Oh, Leaf. okay. I think we probably ought to take all of them. Take all six? I'm not paying for those two extra zonkeys. <laughs> Screw that crap. That means we got to drag them with us. That's it. <laughs> All right. We'll take the four. Oh, four gold pieces. I'll be happy to go ahead and get them. Now, I, I can't get them saddled because they're right in the middle of a wash. So uh, <laughs> if, if you want them saddled, <laughs> I haven't got them polished yet. <laughs> they have been fed, though. And they are healthy zonkeys, I might add. Oh, they're going to vomit and shit everywhere. <laughs> Well, they've been shitting all over their stable already, and you guys have only been gone like two hours. Well, at least they're leaving bread. Fine, a side of my own zone. Okay. okay, so do you want to saddle all four? That's gonna it's gonna take some time, or you want to I ride don't... out bareback? <laughs> oh my god, I'm saddling my zonkey. We'll drag the saddles for the others with us. They can deal with their own stuff. And by the way, right. as I'm walking out, I'm going to point out that that manure is in a gratuity. <laughs> That's high quality. It sure is. Right. How do you think we fertilize the banana fields out back? There you go. <laughs> uh, you guys, uh, you know what? Uh, both of you each give me a performance check since you're just kind of dragging wow. Robert and the man fang shit along. <clears throat> yeah, 13. Opias? I think he said eight. Eight. Uh, somebody's... Uh, Odd Robert, even Man Fang. <laughs> Dragging it. 13. Robert's saddle goes into some poo. <laughs> uh, Robert, Man Fang, give me investigation to keep an eye on your escaping compatriots. Was it the elephant's poo or zonkeys? Are we doing insight or investigation, you said? Investigation. Odd Wait. elephant, even ostrich. Invest ostrich. That's intimidation. Uh, oh, you're I don't know which would be worse. Um, four. I got four because my investigation is minus three. I'm very dumb. Robert? Three. I had 16. Robert's got a keen eye on him. He sees exactly where they are headed. Uh, the four zonkeys arrive, uh, but Copius and Leaf point out that they have not been able to secure your saddles. Uh, they mount up and they spring forth into action as soon as Robert tells them which direction to go. Robert and uh, Manfang, you will be required to secure your saddle appropriately. Hey, before we take off hiking, uh, taking off on the zonkeys on this wild uh, uh, ride, are the two guards that are stuck to the wall alive or dead? Alive. Are they able to speak or are they covered with, like, unable to speak? Good point. Uh, both are odd, so both... <laughs> I'll see if I can cut it free with a dagger. Cut the, the sin. What's going on? Are those guys with you? Absolutely not. What happened? We were associating these two hooligans out of the store when we opened the door and splatola, we got creamed with it. Uh, the two guys that we were with had to be carved out of it. They carved the other two guys out to take them away? Yeah, carve us down. Carve you down. 
Uh, now, Minnesota? were were the were the people who did this to Tabaxi or Tabax or whatever the heck? Did, were they cat people? Tabaxi? Were they cat people or were they uh, something else? Human? Uh, uh, they, they were cat people, and they are the back alley boys. Back alley boys. Uh, I thought about stray cats, but yeah, well, <laughs> too yeah, obvious. I like yeah. back alley. That's back alley know. boys. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> we'll send somebody back to get you down. We're gonna head out. Yeah, uh, I'll, uh, I'll cut one of their one of them. I'll cut their arm free and give them a, a, a knife, a dagger. Yeah, one of the, the crappy old ones here, and not my. You're name. not gonna cut loose the spot where their coin purse is, or anything. Now, uh, shh. <laughs> uh, Robert, give me a perception to see if you notice the ostrich poop on your saddle. Nope, don't know the <laughs> damn thing. I am bring number me, one in this game now. Bring me my brown pants. Uh, meanwhile, Haggis and Felix, uh, you weren't having as much fun as you <laughs> thought you were a few minutes ago. Uh, you, maybe the meowy wowie starting to wear off. Uh -oh. uh, but you hear a voice behind you. What'd they get you for? What did they get us for? Now, are I, you turning around, Felix? Uh, yes. Hang on a second. <laughs> this diminutive gnome bound in rope uh, takes one look at you and starts to kick his heels and pushes back against one of the tabaxi, steering the thing. Oh! <laughs> he is petrified. What's wrong? Oh! Cat, cat got your tongue? <laughs> Uh, oh he, man he can no longer I, answer he is terrified of... can i can i see him being terrified oh yeah okay the, I, then i look I, I tap felix and i look at him just because i'm, I'm curious. gonna look at hag hag is crab stain now you you two are still suffering the maui wowie a little bit but haggis this thing is not the lover of lovers hero of heroes this is a horrific visage but it's funny looking <laughs> <laughs> um it, are we tied up are we tied up you are tied up and am i am i conscious enough to know that we're being kidnapped well, that's pretty harsh, but yes. Uh, I don't think I, we're being taken. <laughs> we're being taken to the premiere. <laughs> we're going to the premiere. They're going to showcase. You're, you're getting a free ride, is how I'm seeing it. You know, this is this is you know, you're you're seeing the Walk of Fame. You're seeing the sights. This place you know. is great. <laughs> they <laughs> are so kind around here. I don't care what anybody says about them. This is a gratuitous. Uh, ride you you, okay. you now you may tip the driver okay i i tapped the driver and asked for more maui wally for me and my friend we're having a hang off right now we need some more persuade me so that he doesn't hit you in the face <laughs> 18 shut up back there he looks over your shoulder and goes, hurry up. They're starting to move on us. Back to you for uh, copious. Your kindness will probably return 1000 fold. Uh, you mount up and Robert, you uh, charge. <laughs> uh, fortunately for you, uh, the two burrows are not going to be much of a match for the zonkeys as of course, uh, they are premium vehicles. Uh, you guys are just going to have to chase them down. Each one of you uh, will do four rolls to catch up to them. So everybody roll a d20 for the first round for me, please. I'm on the <laughs> ground. Oh, 18. I fell off my zonkey. <laughs> I got a 10. I fell off. Copious? Seven. <laughs> uh, Copious, you have managed to dodge Leaf the Druid as he takes a tumble. Uh, Man Fang, you are uh, in second place. You're uh, you're coming around the second quarter. You're down by three flanks, and Robert of Zeppelin is just hoofing it. 
smacking the zonkey, and every once in a while, come on, cheddar biscuit, um, cheddar biscuit, cheddar biscuit. Uh, round, <laughs> round two, Leaf, you are going to be a little bit behind everybody. Yeah, a little everybody, bit. round two. Oh, oh, 18. Is this a writing skill we're doing? Yes. You can oh, do wow. animal handling if you want. Oh, oh hell. I got a 23 then. And my first row would have been six. <laughs> I got a dirty 20. 14. I got a 6. I think I fell over. Uh, you know what? Uh, man fang leaf the druid pulled a hardcore old-timey western move and leaped into a saddle and spurned his zonkey ahead uh he and copious are coming up knocking you out of the way still uh off from robert the uh, rodeo king uh round three everybody <laughs> you're starting to gain on the wagon felix and Hoggis, you can oh, see your oh. friends I'm going to make a bet on who's going to get here first. Anyone want to bet? Let's get some action going here. 13. What about you, Elf, behind me? 19. The gnome will do it. <laughs> Robert. 15. Uh, everybody keeps uh, keeps going well. Uh, I'll take some of that action there, uh, Stretch. <laughs> what are we betting on? I got a gold piece on uh, Robert Zeppelin. I don't know which one that is. is. Uh, <laughs> the tall one that sits weird in a saddle. <laughs> That's the one. He keeps looking back for some reason, like he's smelling something. You know what? I, I'm going to bet on that short one. I, I think he reminds me of a hero that I heard tell tale of. <laughs> Last roll. Uh, Robert is long. Or copious. You're going to have to beat Robert by three on the die in order. Nat 20. 18. 17. So close. Seven. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, the wagon skids into, we'll say, a poor powered of town uh, and comes to a screeching halt. Felix Haggis uh, and your new associate notice that several more tabaxi are coming out of the woodwork slash branches, uh, so to speak. Uh, Felix and Haggis, since you were abducted rather quickly, if you want to try and pull out of your bonds, I will allow you to do that with a strength check. The Meowy Wowie is worn off. I will attempt it. Okay. Nine. Nope. Haggis? Well, they probably know what's best for me, so I, I just let it happen. <laughs> That's honest. I like it. I'm not sure the Maui Maui has worn fully off. Yeah, that, that, that is a fair assessment. Uh, Robert, leading the sturdy band of adventurers in what I am sure is going to be a tale of divine intervention. You, Manfang, Copious, and Leaf, screech your zonkeys to a halt, and this place is filled with freaking tabaxis, with notched ears, patchy fur, Broken Fang. Uh, these uh, backstreet guys are a little bit on the rough side. Uh, they jump out in front of you and uh, pull their blades. Ho, strangers. Stay back or taste your blood. Everybody initiative. Trying to talk about cream chop city, bitches! Go <laughs> pieces 20. 19. 17. Seven. Wait, what's, what's one? My, oh, that's sorry. Seventeen. That's eighteen. Eighteen. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'll take Haggis and Felix, even though you guys have remained in bondage. Fifteen. Seventeen. We will start with the twenty. Uh, huh. Taste our own blood. Uh, what say you, Copious? Uh, well. So just to kick things off, I'm just going to go ahead and summon my packed weapon, which is a short sword. Um, so that should be materializing in the air through most of this round. Okay. And then, and then uh, as we're as going, I'll say, I'm going to ask them of the crowd, what's the meaning of this? Why do you have our, our colleagues? Fair enough. Good, good intro. Uh, using your words. That, that helps a lot. <laughs> uh, leave the Druid at 19. 
Uh, and we're there all right in front of us. Where is, uh, again, where is uh, uh, Felix and Hoggis? Uh, Felix and Hoggis, their feet are up in the air. They're in the back of the cart. It appears as though Felix is uh, trying to squirm while Hoggis is just enjoying the ride, man. Uh, are they, direct, are they directly in front of us? Uh, they, they are kind of cockeyed in the back of the wagon. So you got okay. wagon parked in front of a row of crappy buildings and six feral cats in front of you. Boy, I'm going to, I'm going to get my flame blade ready. Okay. Uh, next up is the 18. That would be man fang. Everybody's ready in their weapons. It smells a lot like tombstone yeah, in this right game. Out. And hold it like this. Hold it Somewhat. like what? Like this. <laughs> Okay, directly in front of you then? Yes, okay. Right. Uh, we'll go with 17, Robert. I'm going to go try maybe do a little distraction here. I'm going to cast some dancing lights right above the kitties. Are they laser lights? They are a dancing lights of colorful dance. So I figured they're reflecting everywhere. I, I, would, I would imagine so. It is daylight, but I think that will work. Um, Even for a, a little distraction. Give me a distraction roll. Or performance. Either one. Your choice. Performance roll. I'll take performance. Yep, go ahead and do performance. 23. Give me a D6 roll, please. Six. Woo. Ooh, uh, you got cats jumping all over the place. You got all six <laughs> of them. <clears throat> uh, and that is going to be their turn. However, a gritty voice is heard to your left. I hold your lights there, human. Get a ray. <laughs> <laughs> A figure, I'm not going to say Yoda because that would be a trademark infringement, uh, and it's not green, but an older creature with a gnarled cane kind of limps its way out. Uh, <laughs> however, the silk pajamas that it wears are lined with sigils indicating probably monk. <laughs> Hey, Grandpa. Oh, I mean, Leaf. Aren't you a monk now? No. Yeah. Is it Druid? Not yet. Is this a dead. hairless cat? Is it this is a hairless not a hairless cat. cat. Nope. Okay. Because those are just gross. No. No, this is, it's sparsely, it's, uh, what's the name of the dog that's hairless? <laughs> that has, uh, just tufts of hair everywhere? No, it's like that oh. nasty chihuahua. Thing. Yeah. It, it, that's what it looks like, but it's a cat. But it's not an Egyptian hairless. So Yoga and yogurt's been taken. Maybe you could go with uh, Bogart. Okay. Nice. Uh, the individual kind of waddles out, and they are going to address number four. Manfang, you look sensible. My <laughs> What, uh, what, uh, oh, a blind old man in a silk. <laughs> oh, buddy. Yes, I am very sensible. That what do you call upon me for? What brings you and your friends here? And he kind of uh, uh, gives you a couple jabs with his cane. Doesn't do any damage, but, uh, yeah, you, you feel that the old man's got a little bit of strength in him if he needs it. I'm just going to say, Al, let's just say. Our friends are in a wagon. They got taken away. They're stoned, so they don't know what's going on. I think one of them does. Um, so we are just came to get back and find them. No no harm. Yes, you, not me. Go ahead. I know. Oh, wise one. <laughs> that, that's what I'm going to say. We just came back to get our friends. They're in a wagon. Look kind of like that. And the dancing lights disappear. Oh. Take your friends and go. Go with, okay, thanks. Have a great day. Okay. Uh, 
Did we hear any of this over in the wagon? Oh, yeah, you can. I'm just wondering who's going to help Felix out. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> that boy ugly. Damn it. I know I'm going to do it because I'm trying to raise him up as a hero. Oh, no, no, no. Copious will jump into the back of the wagon to <laughs> un- unbind uh, Felix. <laughs> okay. Give okay. me a DC wisdom check for me, please. Oh, it's a good thing because I got 16. No- What is wrong with you? <laughs> this horrible visage is adhered to his face. Uh, and you catch a glimpse of a gnome still cowering in fear from accidentally looking at Felix in the eyes. Uh, Haggis is still giggling because he is not... He does not possess the constitution required to go ahead and get him out of this mess just quite yet. I'm going to grab a hold of that mask and see if I can pull it. What have you done? And who is this gnome? (laughs) That's not a mask. That's his face. I was trying to be funny and scare Haggis, and next thing I know, it kind of (laughs) stopped. This forked tongue keeps flipping out as he talks. You can hear Felix, but... (laughs) Uh, it's the mask is not coming off. Uh, do you want me to try to cut it free? <laughs> oh, acid, use acid. <laughs> not yet. Okay. okay, it's starting to break free. I can feel it. Who's keeping an eye on uh, the six Avengers? Okay, uh, they the six Avengers look uh embarrassed that the, they fell for the ye old laser light trick and the old man hurry up and get your friends and get out of here why did you take our friends i've been here i haven't taken anybody okay why did these six take our friends one of them comes up uh, very reverent, very sincere. Uh, apparently, the old man's gaze is uh, quite sturdy. It's like when the wife gets angry and glares at you. Uh, and he admits that, uh, uh, I, I am afraid uh, your associates were taken by accident. Okay. Then what was your reasoning for being there? You got us involved now, so don't hide it. I need to know what's going on. We want the gnome. Really? Oh, well, he's in the back trying to rip a mask off. You can have him. <laughs> the other no. <gnome. laughs> Why? You want a matching set? Why do you want the gnome? The gnome is a thief. <laughs> That's the one put on the mask! <laughs> I was waiting on that. Opius, I'm going to need you to check the muffler as you go underneath the bus, please. <laughs> uh, Copius, are you going to let Haggis go? Yeah, I'll I'll switch to Haggis once I've cut Felix free. And then I'm going to turn to to the gnome and ask again, who's this guy? You're asking the gnome who this guy is or the old man? I'm asking the guys in the the wagon. <sighs> he is a artifact dealer and a thief. And what were you going to do with him? It's really none of your concern, friend. What is we're, we're just going to ensure that he doesn't steal anything else. Oh, wait. I'm okay with that. I had to remember back to last week. Oh, Stumpy. Is his name Stumpy? <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> I went to look down at him. He's still terrified, right? Because Felix is still in the, the cart. Mm-hmm. This was the guy that came into the tra- shop trying to sell... Uh, two artifacts or whatever that place was. Correct. Ah, so you guys, uh, are you guys protectors of the, what is it? The damn place for uh, it was like here and play stuff. drill, play yeah, drill, Cop- the lost city of play <laughs> drill. Copious. Check that gnome. See if he's got a map. <laughs> I, well, I'm, I'm going to look down and ask the gnome if he was part of the uh, expeditionary group that went to the city for the surveying. He looks at you, plain as day. The fear starts to drain away as he focuses in on you, and he goes, whatever answer gets me out of here in one piece. (laughs) That's That's a gnome after my own heart. 
<laughs> you got to help me. You got to get me out of here. Why? Uh, they're going to do things that make constitutional breaks disturbing. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, oh, so so he's he's did he do what they said? I'm going to ask him. Did you uh, try to sell sell stuff? Is this the first time you've ever sold it? Do you have anything on you right now? <clears throat> it's a misunderstanding. They always <laughs> are. They always are. And he he also is bound in rope. <clears throat> Everybody, perception check. I want to ask the elder how much how much for the gnome? How much for the little gnome? 20. 19. 21. Under peace. Oh, yeah, I know. 10. Plus three, you're 20. I'm 20. 20. 17. Uh, everybody but Copius, who's doing the majority of the talking, <laughs> hears uh, hooves coming off oh, in the boy. distance. Probably the fuzz. <laughs> uh, in front. Copious the old man wrinkles up his face. This man must pay for his crimes. Completely agree. But we have a use for him first. Do you know him? Never met him before in our lives, but we believe he's associated with with a group uh, from the state, and we want to take him back for some gnomish justice. That was a nice. To... Describe a punishment for your gnomish justice. Ooh, I can describe. It. I'll let our very accomplished bar <laughs> describe it. Well, first we start off with the simple thing in life: a little light toenail yankage. You know, some blades underneath the fingernails, and then just little chunks of flesh slowly peeled with a knife. Uh, I like to keep it about six inch strips. It gives you more chances to apply more pain. And then right when you think they're about to go under, you cast a little bit of healing, just enough to bring them back, and you start over again. Then we do like, you know, spikes through the feet, spikes through the hands. You just don't want to end. You want to punish. And I really think you've thought about this a little too much there, uh, uh, Noodle or Robert. <laughs> <laughs> Never, Copious. Never. What, uh, what, uh, what, what, what would be an example of a crime that received that kind of treatment? Uh, being born a no. I mean, that's... <laughs> Uh, give me persuasion at advantage, Robert. Oh. Oh. Twenty plus. That's persuasion. good enough. Yeah, twenty-two. The old man thinks, wrinkles his, uh, furrows his brow. Uh, copious. Uh, you know, old man. My motto is. No witnesses. That is a good motto. And I can always bring back a, uh, you want a trophy hand? We would like a trophy hand. I'll hook you up. <laughs> uh, we'd also like uh, some money, and he keeps looking over his shoulder. Uh, 20 gold, and the gnome is yours, provided you bring back a hand. Oh, Copious, you can speak up now. You were the one willing to pay. Oh, you've done such a good job so far describing your torture sequence, Robert. You go ahead and shell out that money. I get the wheel or the hey. I'm dead. It's up to you now, Mr. Big Time Beer Salesman. Uh, <laughs> I pay for your zonky. I ain't paying for this no. The six uh, tabaxi encircle the wagon because they, too hear the approaching footsteps so if a deal is not cemented the gnome goes with them copious pat down that gnome and see if he's got any coin on it uh, but wait he before his we own even, way out before we Put even do down. that let's make sure felix and haggis are off the back of the wagon they are okay who wants to look at felix next <laughs> i'm going to tell the gnome gnome do you have any money because otherwise you're going with them they want yep. 50 gold right now or right you're now. going with them. <laughs> I, uh, 
Yes or no, gnome? I have a jam in my boot. How much gem. is it worth? 75. Fine. I'm going to take the gem and see, take a look at it, see if I can appraise it and go, yeah, this looks like it's worth what he's claiming it's worth. Free class as a the free hooves class. are coming around the corner. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's pretty close. Yeah. It's All just, right. Fine. Yeah. I'll, I'll throw 20 gold at the, the, the old uh, uh, man. The old, for the, wagon. the old man turns to the tabaxi surrounding the wagon, sticks his hand out and catches the gem with ease, does a hand motion, and you find yourself in a small pastoral glade. Oh, crap. Uh, three tabaxi wearing tabards of the city arrive on ostriches uh, and look around. They see the wagon. Uh, they see all seven of you, including the gnome. Uh, and they quickly ask uh, Robert of Zeppelin, did you see the men who brought this wagon here? They went that way. Thank you, stranger. Uh, and they take off into the pastoral glade. What would you guys like to do? Uh, also, the gnome is still tied up and would like his shoe back on. No and no. He can just stay tied up until we get back to town. Well, hey, I made a promise. I got to start torturing this guy. So <laughs> <laughs> I want to look around and see if we uh, where we can see the city from where we're at. Oh, yeah. You're on the outskirts. Okay. okay. You weren't on the outskirts a few minutes ago, but you certainly appear to be on the outskirts now. All right. Hey, is Felix, Felix or Haggis, can one of you drive this cart? I assume, are the burrows with the cart or is it just the, oh, okay, fine. But I'm you have my... two zonkeys that uh, aren't saddled. Or no, you don't have two zonkeys. No, nope, we don't. Didn't bring them. We just uh, brought four. <laughs> I'm going to ask, where the hell are my zonkeys? Where's my zonkey? Is it back in the stable? Safe in the stables. Ah, oh, perfect. Thanks a lot. I can cast a disguise spell on uh, Haggis, and we could tell him it's a zonkey and have him pull the cart back. <laughs> hey, you're a zonkey now. Uh, Robert, give me a perception check, please. No oh, shit. No, that's not bad. Uh, Fifteen. Yeah, you sat in something. <laughs> Somebody stepping shit. Uh, Leaf. Uh, Leaf, Robert, and Manfang, D12, the closest one to me, looks over at Felix. Six. Yeah, beat him, Pops. I have six. He had a four. Uh, Robert and uh, Manfang, you too. One that comes closest looks over at Felix. Five. Damn it! He rolled an eight. Five, you say. <laughs> Give me a wisdom check, uh, Robert of Zeppelin. So this is oh natural. Mine starts. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Ten. <laughs> and you start to run. <laughs> on my shit stained donkey and getting out of here. <laughs> Fair enough. You will ride for four minutes. Full tilt. Uh, now there are just six of you and three zonkeys. What is the big problem? Damn, that boy's ugly. Leaf. <laughs> yes. Noodle. D12. Six. Four again. I'll be four minutes over here. One. Six is closer. Uh, Leaf, give me the wisdom save. Now, what do I need to roll? Uh, I haven't told you. Oh, okay. It, it's 12. 13. Jesus Christ, what's wrong with his face? Uh, uh, ugly. Let's put a sack you, over his head until we get him back to figure out what's going on with this thing. Yeah, that does Noodle ugly. still have his bag? Because we can reuse that. Noodle, you got that orange bag? He does, but now, Noodle. DC 12 versus wisdom. Uh, 
Four, five. <laughs> Noodle is on his zonkey and speeding after Robert of Zeppelin. Uh, what is that? Oh my god. Four minutes. Uh, Felix, you have oh. successfully scared off some of your party members. Hoggis, uh, the meowie wowie has left your system. You are unaffected by the visage of Felix. Uh, but fortunately, the gnome, who is a little bit disgruntled, says, <sighs> guess you need somebody to get that off him, huh? Yep. I wonder where Definitely you can find like somebody you. like that. You, oh, can uh, you get you, it off of you, Can you get it off? Me? Really? I, I'm, I'm, I'm tied up and I only have one shoe on, so I don't think I would be very helpful. Well, that's, you, that sounds like a pretty good plan. You know, if that, we untie him, he could help Felix out. Uh, uh, wait a minute. Just, that wasn't really an answer. That wasn't an answer. If we untie you, can you get that mask off of him? Oh, yeah. No, no, Say no, that. No. Say that. Can he tell us how to get this mask off? Oh, that's better. Yeah, tell him that. <laughs> uh, the mask of Pharsis is a very delicate item, and if improperly handled, will become a permanent addition. And the only way off will have to be boiling your skull in oil. I'm afraid I would not trust anyone else to remove it. Hmm. Simply hmm. on my word alone. I trust him. But you can do it, right? <laughs> oh, I believe I can do it for the right price. The right price is your life. I think we've already covered that, unless you want this morbidly disgusting creature following you around, scaring off more of your associates. It looks like uh, you don't have a choice. What if, <laughs> what, if we give, what if we give you a gem worth 75 gold? Oh. <laughs> and my boot? And my freedom? How about you get to keep yeah. your hand that's already been promised to that little old cat thing oh that's right where is that individual who promised cut off my hand? oh that's right he's a scaredy cat <laughs> see how i worked that one in there <laughs> so, buddy, he's not the only one that knows how to cut hands off have you never you do not know who we are i don't i'm felix don't <laughs> never heard of you oh well Wait a minute. Are, hold it. Are you that guy with the song? No, 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 no. No, that is not me. Oh, well, then I don't care anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, boot, release, gem, taker. Uh, you know, alternatively, I take this rope that we just bought i tie it to this guy's leg and i whip my zonkey back to town oh which i think is kind of an alternative plan for how we can accomplish what we're trying to do because the mask on felix not a high priority for me to take off at the moment because look at what it does to robert on a regular basis i could live with that being the no modus operandi for this entire operation okay. i don't like the idea of bo boiling my skull in oil, I kind of want to get this off. I are, agree. Are, are you lashing him and going, or you're just telling him that's what you're going to do? I'm telling him that's what I'm thinking is the plan. Go ahead and persuade me. Damn it, this is the stuff I like to do. 20. <laughs> now, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I am trying to be reasonable here. Okay? <laughs> yeah. I just want my freedom, and in exchange for my freedom, I will offer freedom from Fugly there. <laughs> Which is a gnomish term. It's a gnomish term of endearment. Fugly. fugly. Yeah. <laughs> Felix the Fugly. <laughs> Felix the Fugly is getting a little bit PO'd, and he's going to start, you know, caressing this mermaid dagger that he's got. You know, Copius, we might want to rethink this. As long as he's got that mask on, we're not going to have to wait around on him to check out every whorehouse in town, neither. That's, that's there a good point. I mean, there's, there's pluses here. And, and well, the, the whole lover of lovers. Uh, not not feeling that one. <laughs> and, and 
Robert did promise to give a hand back to the King Kitty. I think we need to figure out this hand issue before we decide on what we're going to do. Okay, I'll tell you what. You guys seem reasonable. You seem like businessmen. I'm a businessman. How about we do this? You free my hands. You give me back my boot. You keep your stupid gem. I get rid of the mask for you. And we part as friends. His smug attitude is really offensive. <laughs> yeah, it is. I take off uh, his other boot. I take him. <laughs> yeah, I, how about this? We free your hands. You take off the mask. We give you back your boot. So, boots, uh, because Hoggis just took off you. Yes. <laughs> no, we will uh, give you your boots. Persuade me. Oh, it's off the table. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> uh, nine? How about you free my hands, you give me one boot now, I get the mask off, you give me the other boot. How about we tie this rope Counter around... Offer. <laughs> Counter offer. We tie this rope around your foot, we free your hands, you get the mask off, we give you the other boot. We untie the other foot. If any of those things don't happen, the foot stays tied. We go back to town. Ripping all the way. Okay. I believe the first thing was I a rope around that foot. Okay. And let's just clarify. When this is over, we're saying get the mask off without killing or permanently damaging Felix. I just want to make sure that's really clear. <laughs> Yeah, we don't want him looking like man yeah, thing. That's a good question. <laughs> what is the process of getting oh, this mask on? Here. <laughs> if I told you I would lose all my leverage. I guess it's boiling your head after all, Felix. We tried. Well, let, me, let me ask you. Go go ahead and do it. And I've got a question for you. We're gonna do it. Do it. Tie my, tie my foot. Tie his foot. I'm tying his tie foot, foot, tying it to the saddle. Get ready with the whip. All right, all right, all right, all right, cut him free. Okay, Stretch, need you to get down on your knees for me. You're too tall. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 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 I whoa. can't reach his head. <laughs> I can't yeah. reach out of nowhere. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Get this short guy a stool. <laughs> okay, put me, put me on top of the cart. He likes it only hurt for a second. All right. <laughs> Bear down, Felix. Bear down. <laughs> turn your head. Turn it. Turn your head. Oh, no, no. Turn your head the other way. Okay. Okay. Right there. All right. Turn your head. Turn your head there. Okay. I feel like I'm about to get punched. <laughs> <laughs> not, not with a rope around my ankle. <laughs> he reaches up underneath. And you can feel his delicate hands moving around your jawline. And then he appears to find something. Uh, you hear an audible click. Ah! And he yanks it away. Lying some bitch. <laughs> and he pulls it down and he goes, are you sure you don't want it on? <laughs> Get in here, buster. Ah. <laughs> the dagger comes out at that point. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. We had a arrangement. Yay, yay. Okay, okay. My, I tie his hands my... back up. I tie his hands back up. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Here's my question. You knew a lot about this mask. Where did it come from? Uh, I'm going to have to be untied again to give you any more answers. What? No, no. Why should we listen to you anymore? We oh, got what we want. Who cares about you? No, because you did not get what you want, young man. You want information. And I, Phineas Latrec of the Gnomish Council, oh, have that oh, information. Yeah. You need that information. Ergo, you need me. Not me need you. You. You need me. 
And you need both your hands, I assume. No, want both your hands. Uh, Noodle and Robert of Zeppelin, uh, you have gotten over your fear. You have turned your zonkeys around, <laughs> put it in a reverse, and you have re-arrived to find the dashing lover of lovers, Felix the Unmasked, uh, along with, uh, for some reason, a still tied up gnome, uh, antagonizing Haggis, Leaf, and Copious with his smug demeanor. Bring out, bring out the butcher table. We're taking a sand off no, now. No, what we really want is a map to the lost city. Ah, you want a map to the lost city? I, I don't want a map. I want a guide. And he just became. Oh, that's a guide. even better. One at a walk in the mask of back too. Damn it! <laughs> Keeping it. I, I was gonna hang on to that if nobody mentioned it. <laughs> Look, I can get you a map. I can even draw you a map. Not like this, but I can draw you a map. And my feet are getting cold. Can somebody put my boots back on as promised? Because if you do not follow through with your promises, then all further promises are, ergo, in fact, de facto, lies. What promise? Uh, that I would release the, the mask. He took the mask boots off. on him. We'll give him back his boots. Okay. Sure. Untied. Now take his pants off. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, hey. I'm not exactly sure you and I are on the same page. <laughs> Maybe you and face over here might I don't want to see I don't want to see none of this none of this gnome love stuff. I'm gonna go on the other side of the wagon. <laughs> uh Robert and Manfang have re-arrived and look in, in interestingly puzzled as Copious V Bitters begins to Drop the durs of the gnome in the wagon. <laughs> I didn't sign up for this. Yeah, I'm not sure I want to be part of this anymore. Awesome family gaming. This is not what I have. Who among us has not marveled at my appearance? Cut me loose. No? Okay. What the hell's going on? I we uh, can your, find another guide. Like, your I mean, associate is attempting to molest me. I believe he might have confused my personality and charm and witticism with whatever whims he may fancy. No judgment. You mind cutting my hands loose? <laughs> yeah. I'll cut him loose. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, thank I'm going to cut him loose. He's got to draw us a map to uh, the Lost City. I think he wants to cut him off here. <laughs> he's, yeah. he's, not, he's not drawing us a map. He's leading no. us to the oh, city. Oh, that's right. He's going to lead us there. If he I, wants his I, pants back. I, 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 I am not wandering through the capital pantless. I will have women throwing themselves at my feet left and right. And that would only slow us down, my friends. And we we don't want that. Your feet with most shoes, remember, my friend? No, I gave him the shoes back. All oh, right, yeah. Yeah. I've got the shoes yeah. back, but uh, Copious has pulled my pants down. Well, well we didn't promise to leave your pants on when we gave you the shoes. <laughs> you want your your pants back? We're taking the shoes back off. You want then, then you know what? You're gonna have to kill me because there's gonna have to be some give and take here. Because friend, if we're going to be friends. Listen, we, listen. we have to be an even relationship. No, dragons. Other things. I think it's about this time we need to search this guy. See what else he's got on him. Ah, uh, no. you're gonna kneel down and search my pants on the ground. <laughs> we're, we're making threats here. What? We should be business dealing. Isn't that right? There. See this. This individual knows. He's a businessman. He knows what he... Sir, good okay. sir, explain this to your befuddled associates. You know what I'm saying. To me, young gnome, I say, what would it be a cost to have you be an A-plus gu guide to our location of uh, choice that you apparently, seeing that you've been there, know how to get there? Well, my friend... I like you, and for you, I believe I have the right price. It, however, comes in three conditions. Let's talk. One, I get my clothes back. I on and not disheveled. Two, 
I get my boots. Right. That's part of the clothes. And three, I get my hands back. All right. Well, I, I have to ask then, what guarantees that you're not going to run off, disappear before? Because getting all that back is part of the is part of payment to going to where we are. That is a good question, my friend. And you know what? It deserves a good answer. So here it is. I, being fleet of foot, could certainly outrun that gnome. Uh, but I certainly could not outrun you cavaliers, especially on your fine steeds. So I would just be simply run down by, I believe they're zonkeys, and you would have your payback. Now, granted, I can get away from short round here, but I would not be able to escape from all six of but you. Before he finishes talking, <laughs> Copius is climbing up on his zonkey because he's still tied to his, Copius' his saddle, right? He is. I'm whipping the zonkey. <laughs> we're gonna do one lap around the clearing and then come back to the negotiating table so robert your face-to-face -face conducting uh very intensive negotiations when <laughs> uh loud screaming uh loud gnomish cursing is heard uh copious give me a d20 roll because you're gonna have to make a hairpin turn around a tree let's see if you knock this guy out or let's see you knock yourself out and your zonkey goes for a ride. <laughs> With the guy still attached. 16. Uh, 16, you manage to skirt the tree. Uh, you do get him with the root. Uh, as you return back to the rest of the group, uh, he is completely disheveled, uh, bleeding. He doesn't have any pants on, years. does he? No, he does not. He's also oh got a road rash. Oh, no. All right, I'm going to go over. Wait, no. When, when he arm like a sack of gnome, <laughs> set him up on the wagon again. Go. All right. I'm going to throw in a bonus. I'll heal what ails you right here. But you're going to kill that guy? <laughs> What'd you say? You're going to kill that guy? <laughs> did, did he just say, did I hear that? Hey, you did. Yeah, you heard it. Another <laughs> <laughs> lap. E20. <laughs> I only got 10 that time. And then it's fine. Uh, you give much wider berth. Uh, everybody, in case you run into gnomes again, you now have a uh, very well-versed knowledge of a lot of gnomish profanity. So <laughs> if somebody calls you a we know, you can hit them. <laughs> because you're fairly confident that is not a term of endearment. Oh. What's it take to write out a contract other than this book and scroll? Well, he's not feeling great, so you've got time. <laughs> when we come back, I'm going to throw him his pants and say, you can put these on now. Oh, no, no, no. He hadn't finished, no. Con he hadn't finished his contract. <sighs> Apparently only his mother has the ability to put these pants on with her hands tied. Give me the D20. <laughs> I did cut the rope, right? 14. Uh, you you, you got you to gotta do better than 14. <sighs> I have to do better than a 14? Yeah. Is, is there anything added? Uh, dexterity would be your modifier. No. I assume, Not wisdom it? for animal handling. He's doing something different than mine, right? Mine's he's, animal handling. He's, he's chopping the rope. What was yours, Robert? With dexterity to chop the rope? Mine yep. be 16. Uh, Copious, you take off, but the load gets lighter as Robert of Zeppelin cuts the rope, leaving the individual flat on his back, bleeding from the butt, and points out, I may Wait, have an did he acorn just... somewhere that I need removed. <laughs> <laughs> did he just cut the really expensive rope that Leaf and I just bought? Yes, he did. <laughs> I'm going to pick the dumb gnome up, set him down, give him a little <laughs> shut up. Now, we can either deal 
Or I can go ahead, torture you, flay you alive, cut off your hand, and go ahead and make payment for letting you go. Or we could talk. You could earn some cash, get all these pains and aches out of the way, and we get going. It's totally up to you. My friend, I have never caused you any problems. Your diminutive associate seems to have an overly... <laughs> Focus on conversation. You're really starting to tickle that sweet spot of no witnesses. I'm sweating. I can feel the veins pumping. Okay, so what is your offer? My offer is this. Well, you still haven't given me a price for guidance. What's a guide? Tell me your guide price. Get us to where we need to. It. And back. Start I, I, I assume food and lodging is included. I will take care of it. 500 gold pieces to get you to the ruins of Nazumi and back. It's cheaper to take your hands and put you there and spend a couple years looking for it. You seem to want to go to Nazumi. I do, but not at 500 gold. Make I me an offer. 200 gold. 200. Right there. Do I get a zonkey? What if we go? No gold from us, but whatever you can carry out is yours. After we pick ours. And I see nothing. Of course, you, we got to get what we were sent here for. You will guarantee my safety there and back? There and back. Yes, we can. Mm -hmm. Guarantee. We have an accord. All right. Pulls out a rock. <laughs> a crack of his ass or what? Hey, right, I'm gonna magic acorn, my diminutive friend. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, uh, Copious. <coughs> acorn it goes with the magic beans. Yeah. So let's see. Eldritch blast will do. <laughs> oh, and uh, Robert, you promised to heal what ails him. I'm gonna cast the healing. That's whatever. Fair my enough. Is done. Uh, he's still looking a little bit patchy, but he's okay. Oh, when, well, do, when do we leave? Well, we need to head back to the stable. We got to pick up our stuff. But you must be by my side the whole time we are in town. Don't slink off. Sure. Or the deal's broken. Don't break the cord. No talking to anybody. What if I'm identified? No problem. Here's a bag for his head. The disguise spell on him. This is not Mississippi him. burning. <laughs> I'm going to cast it so he looks like one of these. Oh, <laughs> can I have the mask instead? <laughs> no. no. No, no. Not the damaged side. The good side. Oh, okay. Oh, that, okay, that's fine. I hate you. So when he was taking the mask off of me, did I figure out how he did it so that I could put it back on and take it back off on my own? Give me an intelligence check. It's going to be Ooh. very difficult. I think trial and error is what you need to do here, Felix. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's going to go well because I got a five. Uh, no. <laughs> you are examining the interior of it, running your hand along the edges. Puppy. I'm going to ask him. No. Show me what you did. How did you oh, get the mask off? You know what? I'm, I'm, I'm getting tired of getting the crap beat out of me, so I'm not going to use that one. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot, my friend, and I mean no disrespect, but your facage, fat sausage-like fingers are not nearly slender enough to go ahead and activate the secret latch, which you have figured out by now because you're much smarter than some. Mm, yes, I have <laughs> figured it out, but uh, perhaps you could just show me one more time. Felix, let, let uh, Copius look at it. Copius, see if you can figure this latch out. Yes, 
copious. See if you can figure it out. <laughs> no problem. I'm going to knock the gnome on his ass and I'm going to put the mask on his face. Ooh. Well, do it before. I don't like that. <laughs> I'm, I'm in I favor of like that. that. I'm in favor of that idea. Go ahead. Let's see what happens. Let's see if there's more to this mask than we think. Right here, there, big man. <laughs> Are you going to hit him? Yeah. I'm, of course okay. I'm going to. Hit me. Somebody's made a comment. Huh? Uh, dex check or strength check? Strength check. That's my Marine. That's my uh, job. 11. Uh, is your husband available to hit but, me? No problem. Eldritch, <laughs> Eldritch Blast coming online. <laughs> 16. Yeah, that'll get him. Yep. <laughs> A great big smoky hole oh, is on there, and he is flat on his back. There we go. Is he unconscious yet? Uh, how much damage? Well, let's roll that. Let's just see what we can do. <sighs> Six points. No, he is not unconscious, but he is stunned. All right, stunned. Long enough. <laughs> you already you carry him now, you dumbass little no. <laughs> Are you putting the mask on? Yeah, as long as Fe it's Felix's well, mask, as long as he's okay with it. Uh, I'd prefer not to because I'm not sure what this thing looks like. So I'm going to put it on him and I'm going to close my eyes. Okay. Probably a good idea, Felix, because this is not going to end well. I've told yeah. you, Copius <laughs> uses all reason when he gets insulted. <laughs> We've established this. I'm walking away. <laughs> I'm walking away. <clears throat> uh, okay, so Felix, you kind of. I'll put it on and just I'll say, no, Copius, can you figure it out? <laughs> Put put and I'm gonna look at you. And go hell no! I can't figure it out. I don't know what this is. But are you, are you looking at it? There. Stick your <laughs> finger in there. <laughs> Last time someone said put a finger in there. I'm not going to go into what. Oh, just give me your hand. I'm gonna grab Copius's hand right. and, and shove it in there. And that's uh, You just. You just <laughs> I'm gonna describe what he did when it was All on right. me. All right. So let's try. let's so cover Copious. the mask up so we don't have to look at it. Oh, 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 wait, I got to ask a question now. You said you're going to grab his hand and shove it in there, shove it in what? He don't have his pants on yet. Now, I'm just <laughs> trying to catch up here. Hey, you know what, Leaf? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody who's going to get checked. Cough. <laughs> I can't figure this out at all. Hold on. I'm, I'm not sure. I'm not I, sure what this I is. Just, you know. <laughs> If you're if you're dealing with a gnome, you don't have enough dice for that. You need like four. Uh, okay. So you're dealing with a gnome, you need smaller <laughs> dice. There's extra ones. They break them into little geodes. Yeah, little tiny ones, but there's multiples. Okay. Like a bag of marbles. All so, right. So you cover the describe, mask. Cover the mask up so we're not looking at it. I'm going to describe what he did okay, when he listening. was doing it to me. He stuck his finger in behind the mask. He hit some sort of latch, and it kind of just popped off. All right, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to uh, feeling up underneath there. Here. It's right here by the jawline. Give me an intelligence check. Oh, that's not going to go well. Both of us or just uh, him? Just him. He's the one good. Natural 20, kid you not. You feel a, a little depression notch and manage to pop it off, and you... You can tell that it's been released, so you can kind of lift it off and look down. And the gnome looks up at you, no longer stunned, and says, do you like this without my pants on? <laughs> <laughs> he has successfully removed the mask. <laughs> so All right. I'm gonna so tell me what you did so I can figure this out. I'm gonna hang on to this mask. It might be useful when we encounter something in the jungle. Yeah. I'm gonna flip the mask back to Felix and go, I don't know, there's a little notch underneath the chin. Stick your little Robert, Robert of Zeppelin, you need to write a write a story about this saga. <laughs> I saw the gnome reach under under his cloak. Something about the naked uh, gnome, yeah. That had no bone. There's Felix, so uh, many comments. 
the gnome is correct. Your meaty sausage-like fingers are not thin enough or narrow enough to go ahead and make the depression. It's almost as if the area was built for a claw. Hmm. Interesting. But you have figured out what he's talking about. Use the dagger and try and stab at it. <laughs> oh, I'm not going to use the dagger. <laughs> I can feel it. I'll start looking for something. If I understand the way that the mat, the latch works, I'm going to start looking for something in the coming days to try to get in there and use as a key. Office Max, uh, the paperclip aisle. Perfect. <laughs> uh, the gnome again points out, ooh, awful breezy on my nethers. Is one of you blowing? <laughs> <laughs> can we cover his ass up so we can go? Yeah. He's not I, done insulting Copius yet. <laughs> I didn't know Copius had a twin see, brother. See, Copius, you know, I, I boosted you up for many adventures, and now, now you're paying the price. <laughs> oh. He didn't get mad. He left. He said, screw you guys. I'm going home. Yay. <laughs> Oh, you burst his bubble. He ran away. So now, what would you guys like to do? Are we Let's still go have... back into town and get the other zonkies and get this organized so we can get to the lost city. Hey, who paid for my zonkey anyway? I did. I paid for all of them. It cost, how much did it cost? That was five gold to get those zonkies out. <laughs> oh, for all the zonkies? Okay. So for I... each one. Uh, well, that was your mistake. I wouldn't have paid five gold. I Excuse me, gentlemen. Sorry, I've been hanging around Copious too long. Yeah, no. <laughs> Which zonky is mine? Which zonky is yours? <laughs> Whichever one you left at the stable. Yeah. Oh, I was under the impression that your uh, large, angry fellow there is pointed out I was going to be taken well cared of, and I don't feel very well cared for. Uh, you can share it with uh, Copius. He'll, I'm yes, sure you he'll can, share you can, the saddle with you. <laughs> you can ride on his hey, uh, on his lap. Uh, how well will these zonkeys latch up to a, I don't know enough about them, to a wagon? The uh, tacking uh, is still there. So uh, it's going to be a snug fit because the zonkeys are larger than the burrows. But you can uh, hook them up. Uh, One's a, one one staff orc and a gnome. They pull okay. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. that'd probably be okay because the zonkey is larger than the burrow. I'm gonna I'll hook mine up so I can carry a passenger in. Uh, animal handling. Let's make sure you get the bar or the tack correct. I'm so losing my zonkey. Sixteen. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, you do it. You're you're ver you're quite uh, well versed in the uh, tack of the animals. Uh, you get them latched up, and uh, your new friend uh, Phineas Latrec. Phineas, huh? Phineas. What is your friend's problem? He seems to have anger issues. It, he's trying to compensate for a small penis. Oh, okay. I buy that. He's got he's got this big horse. He's been adding to it a lot. He's got a big head. He's got this big ego, and it's all because he's got a very tiny. You know, friend, I like you. <laughs> I think you and I are going to become fast friends. <laughs> I could see that. Maybe. So, uh, you've got Haggis, Felix, and Phineas in the wagon, correct? Well, I don't know about all them. They don't have their zonkeys. Oh, it's all going to come down to uh, how well my uh, zonkey handles it. If it's putting stress on the zonkey. Uh, I guess what are you? Are you human or elven? He's a halfling. Halfling. Oh, yeah, you'll be fine. Felix is the only fat ass. No offense. <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> have to run a couple miles just to work off a little. Then we'll put him up in there. Oh, I'll walk a little while. Now nah, he can get in. I don't care. So, what brings you guys to play drill? We are searching for the lost city. We heard that there was uh, a, a, an expedition team that went out there and came back, and we heard it might be rich with artifacts. 
I wouldn't say rich with artifacts. I mean, you know, we made a few coins, but uh, the uh, law here it is kind of frowns upon uh, possession of artifacts, if you know what I mean. That's only if you have. Said. Oh, 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 oh. I believe I owe you a gold. Ah, yes, you do. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> a Latrec pays his debts. <laughs> uh, uh, where Good did Latrec come up with a gold piece uh, from there? Well, <laughs> claim well, that's that's what I want to know. Let's just say I've got some hidden pockets here. While you guys can... were distracted. <laughs> <laughs> prison wallet. He was keistering prison wallet. That's right. That's right. Keistered it. <laughs> I'm terrified that my son knows prison wallet. He's seen Get Hard, I assume. No. Oh man, that movie is hilarious. That's where I got keistering from, though. <laughs> yep. The monkey scene, hilarious. Uh, so uh, you guys go back. You guys aren't too far out of town. You go back to the. Uh, I think it's what Acme Gear. I believe is what it's called. Uh, Gear Inc., the adventurer shop. Uh, the webbing is gone. The uh, two galooks uh, that were hanging there are also gone. Uh, and you are Gear Inc., Foreign Inn, Apothecary, OK Corral, Father James Belushi, Temple of Delta. What time of what time of day is it now? Oh, next question. It's getting uh, late after late afternoon. Are yeah, we want to start our trek? I don't really want to keep this guy in town. Very I don't long. either. I think we need to go now. My I would uh, caution against that, my friends. Well, right before we enter town, I'll cast the disguise spell on him. Why would you caution against it? The jungle if you want to take the jungle route, can be dangerous at night. Uh, it's best to make a camp uh, and then hunker down. Now, if you wanted an ocean journey, uh, that uh, that has its own dangers with the marrow um, and the water spouts. But, uh, you know, first we must discuss uh, what you guys would like to do. Do we need to rent a boat and go uh, via the liquid or uh, trek through the jungle. I myself have uh, taken both journeys, both perilous, both very dangerous, but I, I of course know the way to guide we're, you safely. We're going overland. We're going jungle overland. I already got the cart. Well, the cart's not a good idea. Why not now? Uh, the trails, there are none, really. I mean, they're very narrow. So the zonkeys aren't even going to make it through? No, the, the pack animals will make it through. I I would suggest uh, replacing the cart with uh, a burrow or two, perhaps one for me, uh, and then uh, we can load supplies and, of course, our recovered uh, items uh, on them and uh, then return here safe and sound nobody the wiser not even your diminutive friend <laughs> that sounds that sounds like a plan like a plan this is not my first journey to the ruins i can see that i gather but uh, again I i'm i'm just trying to help out okay, well, do you know anywhere that we might be able to trade this cart for some pack animals oh is yes the, the livery stable, stable. yeah the okay. livery stable okay I, I don't know that they'll have burrows or not. We'll find out. So let's head on down. You got any talent at haggling? Oh, I, uh, I always pay a fair price for things. Okay. Sounds like he's not going to be the one to be haggling. <laughs> he's going to be spending our money. Well, I didn't say spend money. I, said I am uh, offended at the implication. I have just as much to lose as you all do. Maybe more. I mean, this... this Indiana Jones where he, the guy lets him swing across on the whip and then he says, throw me the whip! And the guy just kind of drops it. Did anybody get that feeling at the end of this? I'm kind of getting that feeling. <laughs> Alright, well let's go haggle for a wagon for some uh, burrows. Burrows. Friends, allow me. 
Will you let him do it? I'll let him do it. With my, I, where, he's not going very far out for a sight, right? Oh no, you you can see him from where you're uh, at. Yeah, uh, but he's going to be the one haggling for us. I'm just going to listen in. He goes up to uh, the tabaxi, uh, gives him a robust greeting. Oh, my friend, my friend, long time no see. How are, how are the uh, kittens? Uh, you know, I, I'm very good, I hope. Looks around, slides him a coin. The tabaxi looks over at the cart. They shake hands. He comes back, great big ear to ear smile, and he goes, Job's done, boys. Unload that cart. What? There's nothing in the cart. No, no. Give the cart to him. Oh, what did we for get? What? What are we getting for it? Uh, we got three burrows and a little bit of tack including that rope that uh, your abusive friend afraid. All for just this janky old cart? I mean, this fantastic cart. Oh, we're, we're getting screwed. <laughs> My friend, you drive a hard bargain. <laughs> oh, when those other tabaxi find out you sold their wagon, they're going to be pissed. Oh, probably. <laughs> Or when they find out it's stolen and come looking for you guys, somebody will be pissed. Hard to say. All right. Well, we'll sell it. We stole the way. Yeah. Oh, interesting role. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, All right. he we'll says we, we, we can pick them up uh, in the morning. Well, I guess we, we're going to have to restow the zonkeys in the stables. That yeah. I cannot help you with. Why not? Uh, can't we're not, be, yeah, not, not dealing with him. We'll go deal with the stable master. That's right. That's him. Yeah. Oh, that's who we're talking to now. Right okay. Now. I'm, yeah. I'm sure you're, you're, you're well, you don't have room now, or what? What's the problem? No, he'll he'll do it. Uh, restocking fee, of course. Um, I paid that when we paid to. Uh, oh, that's right, my friend. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, I, uh, yeah. I I get confused. I get confused. Nice try. That was three gold pieces. Three gold pieces, right? I believe we paid you five each, wasn't it? I believe it was five each, wasn't it? Ah! Right you yeah, are yeah. again. I am old and I get cloudy in my judgment. Right. Yes, That's it right. was five. I remember it well. See, man fang, Robert. Well, the two guys I we had to go rescue can pay our fees. Nope. No bullshit. Bullshit nothing. Bullshit. I, you did hear what he said, right? He's already paid the restocking fee. I've already paid the restocking fee. I know. Oh, that's fair. I just I just want my gold back. Yeah. I know. It's coming from Felix and uh, Haggis. I think uh, uh, I didn't ask you to take the zonkeys out. Oh, you're right. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Oh, all right. Well, Robert Manfang, I will. I will remember. pay half, half of the restocking fee. Okay. So that's two and a half times four. No, 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 no. I assume. No, it's two and a half times two. Two and a half from him. Two and a half from you. You notice that Phineas has produced a set of dice and he's oh, testing Jesus. no everything. no Felix huh? hey over there with those dice no Felix yeah. look how about this so, you know what the uh, worst part about the maxi me, dice is give me my I'm restocking fee first. <laughs> hey you guys give me my five gold for the restocking fee first that I already paid no, he said three. You play all the dice you want. He said three. Then there was five total. No, he said three. Five total. No, I heard three. You heard wrong. Was, wait a second. Was it five total or five per? It was. Oh, it was total. So that means it's one and a quarter for each donkey. No, no, no. Five total. No, he said five total. So that's Gentlemen, as uh, you bicker over this minor thing, 
I'm going to be over in the tavern testing Lady Luck, if you don't mind. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. We better settle this quick because I think just let him go. Him. What are you doing? I'm going to I pay, I give, I give Leaf like I don't know how much gold he wants, and I go with <laughs> go with uh, him. Oh, perfect. Well, you, I guess guess you can, I'm you can pay me my five, and then they can they can go ahead and pay copious the five that he paid for the other one. Okay, yeah, he's, he's paying our call. Thanks, Haggis. What do you want, buddy? Let me buy you a drink inside. Haggis, you arrive with Phineas. Phineas has already sat down and already won his first hand. He has a small stack of coins, and he points out to the kind of rugged look at human beings. How about we double the wager? Oh, boy. Oh boy. How about I wager these slaves I have? Who would have imagined that I would have gotten four of a kind? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he starts raking in the coins. Uh, the uh, humans are not very happy. And he goes, you know what? I sense your luck is about to change, my friends. I think it's a bad idea. But let's do one more throw, shall we? And the barmaid brings him a beverage. <laughs> do you want to intervene, Haggis, or do you want to let this gnome really piss off somebody? Well, I mean, how does this really? <laughs> okay. <laughs> ah. Four sixes, boys. Sorry for your luck. <laughs> he scrapes them forward and the men kind of lean forward but they see you Haggis then they see Robert of Zeppelin's uh, massive appearance as well as Felix, Manfang, Leaf and finally Copius well they don't really see Copius because he's <laughs> and the men are angry and he goes no wait a minute gentlemen I don't want you to go away mad waitress get these gentlemen some ale they look thirsty Maybe next time, gentlemen. Let's get out of here right now. <laughs> I guess that's what he tells you. I, all right. Yeah. Let's head on. The you know, that's what this party was missing. A thief. <clears throat> uh, now, Felix, uh, they notice you. and uh, You want to gamble? Shit. Uh, not with him. <laughs> oh, that guy? That guy's great. He just bought his beers. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's. I'll do a round. Haggis, he wants to get out right now. Okay, I escort him. Is there like a back entrance? Because I, I just want to. Yes, get him right out. next to the dartboard. That's not good. <laughs> yeah, we go out the main. We just I go over him like a movie star agent. Get him out. Uh, Felix, 4d6. You want to try and match? Uh, I, two, go two gold to I, believe, I, I believe I have a set of loaded dice, but I don't know if they're decent, what they are. Uh, you can roll 6d6. I'm Take going to four. use the loaded dice on this one. I have to reach into my dice. Now, the the fact that these guys are already pissed off means nothing to you. I'm a gambler. <laughs> I'll say. Three sixes and a four, so 22. Okay. That's, that's a good throw there, friend. Uh, One, two, three, four. We have a waitress with a four charisma digging man fangs locks something's up here because nothing's going to dig anything on this oh yeah you like this she has a charisma of four <laughs> yeah i'm going out the the door following haggis e even that is lowballing for somebody uh, Haggis is standing there as Phineas is counting a rather large lump of coins that uh you weren't sure how long he was gambling, but you didn't see that many coins on the table at one time. Uh, Felix, one more round. Let's run, Haggis, let's run. <laughs> they, they reach into their coin purse. Where's 
lose my coin purse. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> you. Me. Felix. Empty your pockets. Oh, boy. <laughs> I didn't steal your coin purse. I've been sitting here gambling with you. Right, me. <laughs> it was probably the guy who you just were gambling with. They went out we're, the front door. We're going. We're going. We're we're hitting alleys. We're we're leaving. We're Let's going. Let's go. <laughs> uh, Copious, uh, you and Hoggis can uh, secret service Phineas yeah. in the <laughs> alley. <laughs> I yeah. hope you guys went out the back door. They did not. They went, went out, out the front, front. door. <laughs> you sent them right for them. <laughs> I so, thought you guys were going out the back door by the dartboard. So, well, that was my idea, but they didn't listen. Uh, perception listen check this. on these three. A four, a five, and an 18. Two of them don't see you. One of them sees the two gnomes. There they are. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. I know Robert and Noodle headed out, so you will come out behind the gamblers. Felix yeah. and Leaf, you're still inside? I'll follow them out. Felix? I'm going to count my winnings and follow them out. How much did <laughs> I win? Uh, two from each, so six, plus your uh, two uh, buy-in. Uh, so, yeah. so you're up six. Uh, oh, the waitress grabs a hold of you uh, with all three of her teeth and her bright mustache and points out, <laughs> Your associate, have him come back and see me. <laughs> oh, I, will. I will. Ewe. Ewe. She'll make uh, a dragon of you then, you noodle. Hey, she doesn't mind the scar. <laughs> well, um, it might be your last. If I'm you're done, done the virgin. This is, a, this is a keeper, man. This is a keeper for yeah, you. I'd rather not. No, she <laughs> would be a lifer. <laughs> uh, so, uh, Leaf. Noodle, Robert, uh, you come out behind the three gamblers just as the one gambler notices Haggis, Copius, and Phineas dive into an alley. Felix, uh, you were detained a short time, so you will be out of it for one round. Uh, so Noodle, Robert, and Leaf, what would you like to do to kind of circumvent the trouble that's a brewing? Uh, I'm getting ready. I was just going to follow him into the dark alley. Fair. No witness is a good plan. Yeah, I, I'm with him. We'll follow him in. But try to stay back enough to where they don't notice that I came out with them. Oh, they're, I'll stay they're the PO'd, so they aren't, they aren't going to notice. Uh, Copius, Haggis, and Phineas, are you want to keep running, or you want to square off at the OK Corral? Second reference. <laughs> are, are we heading out? Like, we're not going to stay in an there. alley. You well, two grabbed Phineas and went into an alley. You also heard, there they are. Oh, that's yeah, not good. Is th this alley, uh, are we, is it open on the other end? <laughs> so, yeah, it will lead, uh, it will lead to the Delta church. So here's the Delta perfect. church. This is spades where, uh, he was gambling. Uh, you got the okay corral. You've got, uh, gear ink, uh, You've got the apothecary, and then you have the foreign inn where you guys have rooms. Uh, so if the Delta Church, if we know the Delta Church is nearby, we're going to try to beeline to the Delta Church. Cut them off at the pass. <laughs> okay. Uh, you head that way. Uh, give me an insight check for memory, though. Natural 18. There will be gnomes in there. Possibly associates. Possibly backup. Possibly, yeah. Uh, so you guys whisk away uh, the three uh, brutes that are still mad that Felix may or may not have stolen their coin purses are stomping through the alley. They're picking up the pace. Noodle and Robert and Leaf, I assume you are also quickening your pace as well? Oh, yes. Yeah. Uh, Copius, Haggis, and Phineas, you reach uh, Delta Church. Shit! The door is locked. Uh, <laughs> coming out of the alley are three angry gamblers. You're going to give us our money, or I'm taking your head. Uh, Phineas turns to Copius and goes, What's the problem with you foreigners? Did, 
do you guys like my face that much that you want to keep taking it? Huh? Is that what it is? Is that what it is? I think that's what it is. I'm slapping him. Oh, yeah. I'm slapping him. Bring it. <laughs> <laughs> and he pushes you too far oh, with the guard. <laughs> uh, the, the three individuals uh, pick up the pace and they're charging like Braveheart. Uh, Noodle, Robert, Leaf being behind them and Felix catching up in the rear. What would you like to do? I'm coming straight in with the long sword, straight up the spine. Oh, whoa, whoa, we're fucking killing people. <laughs> okay. Uh, get him, Ray. <laughs> Second reference. <laughs> Do I get an advantage? Oh, they... yeah. Oh, yeah. They have no idea that you're coming. 18. 18 oh, yeah. Seven. I definitely. Yep. I got eight. 15. 15 hits. God will sort them out later. All right, I got 15. Full damage, 13. He's down. Jeez. <clears throat> so what well, we're we're going to have to leave town. <laughs> I, I, Frank put that out last week. I didn't catch it. What the damage want? he got with his fist weapons you gave him. Oh, uh, those are D6 plus one, the uh, little spiky brass knuckles. Yeah. yeah. So D6 plus one. Is it two Ds because it's two fists? It yeah, one? if he's using two fists. Using two fists? Yeah. Well, only one of them gets to hit at advantage, though. Okay. Right, no, I, may, I mean, I'll just do one. That means no, you got to roll twice to hit, correct? I think, no, then I'll, then I'll, then I'll think about it. I'll just... he, he gets to roll twice and take the highest for one roll, but then the other roll is a straight up. Roll. Admit, since he's hit with two fists, he gets to roll for two attacks in that way, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So are you using the fist level? One is at advantage, okay. one is normal. With one out. I hit with two. It fine, 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 fine. Jesus. All right. Yeah. Well, yeah. Be sure you kill him there, Frankie, because we want no witnesses in the middle of a town square 18. in front of a temple. Jesus. So you got an 18 and a 15. So roll two dice. Both hit. Wait. Yeah. What? Can I see him dithering over whether he's going to hit with one fist or two yeah. fists behind these guys? Because if I am, <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and leave. The stupid Phineas guy, I'm gone. I'm running around the yeah, yeah. off the side of the temple steps and taking off. You're running at him. How? It's cloud right at him. Is Frank frozen? He's frozen. He's either frozen or he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> he was stunned by the actions of, of Yeah, no shit. Frank's. That's so loud. I get excited. Can't help it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> just, oh, look at him. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> You're like a ghost. I think uh, the Kofi is took off running. The, the wait, wait. while he's preparing to attack, I'm can I? I'm gonna pick up. Uh, what, what's his name? Uh, Phineas. 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 Yeah, and I'm I'm gonna head with Copius out. So uh, since I Let's disappeared for a second, how much damage did Noodle do? Nine, Nine. points of damage with. Total. Both two of the three are now down. Uh, so Copius, Haggis, uh. and Phineas notices that there's just one left. One's dead, one's unconscious. Uh, and I have Leaf and Felix coming up behind the third one. Copius and Haggis, what would you like to do to bravely defend Phineas Latrec? Uh, we, uh, Hag has said, we're, we're dragging his butt off the steps and running away in the opposite direction from all of what's happening in front of us. And I'm whispering, you better be worth it. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like your sister. Don't worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking a piece of this guy. <laughs> I'm totally taking a piece of this guy when we're done. He is, oh. he is a thorn in your ass right now. Oh, uh, okay, so Leaf and Felix, there's one still upright. He has no idea his two associates are down. What would you like to do with him? He is kind of harsh in the angle to try and intercept course. I'm going to have to hit him. Yeah, I think we you're still behind him, so you're both at advantage. All right. Do it. At least you're in the adventurer's ward, so. <clears throat> I don't think I hit him. I had a 11 out of 10. Nope. 
Felix, 12 is your magic number. Yeah, I hit him uh, with one short sword. I'm only going to use one to attack. Okay. And then, oh, nine damage. Uh, he goes down. <laughs> he, al he also is unconscious. The 13, though, that Robert did, you're not doing so well. So they're both down? All three are down now. All right. One that has that Robert hit for 13. Mm -hmm. This next round, I want to throw a little heal on him so he doesn't die. Oh, I was getting ready to kill everybody else off. Oh, hell no. <laughs> you guys are working at cross purposes here. <laughs> no, 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 no. One guy's unconscious. Can I just hey, we, you guys got to remember, we got to come back through this town. We have bandits. No witnesses. <laughs> you know what? Doesn't work so well I, I'm going to take a page out of the producer's handbook. <laughs> As you guys square off with the downed uh, gamblers and Haggis and Copius are escorting POTUS out of here, fog begins to fill the courtyard and you hear the melodic voice of a female, possibly halfling, casting a spell of fog cloud and everything billows out in this section between spades a personal residence, and Delta House. Uh, Copius, Haggis, Phineas, you will be able to get out at the tail edge, and you will see a female dressed in wizard apparel hanging out of a tree, casting a spell, and laughing maniacally. Can I see she's halfling? Uh, okay. yeah, you, can, you can make that guess. Then with... Phineas, on my arms, I just turn back around and head straight for her. Cool. Throw Phineas at her. <laughs> Don't <What>? throw me! <laughs> uh, Felix, Leaf, Noodle, Robert, uh, let's do insight check. Uh, anything above a 15, and you can get down on your hands and knees and go towards where this spellcaster's at. 24. Insight. 12. 16. I got a... You got 19. You're good. Anything above 15. Uh, three of you managed to drop to your hands and knees and start to scoot out. Uh, Felix, you bump into 1-2 as the dead guy. 6. Uh, one of the unconscious guys who moans loudly. Uh, Haggis, as you uh, approach... Uh, Whoop! <laughs> Your prey disappears quickly. <laughs> Freaking Mordor. Mm -hmm. This is great. Uh, you do, however, notice that Leaf, uh, Noodle, and Robert are all low crawling out. Uh, good news is no guards, uh, but Felix is MIA. So, wait, if what you said is legit, she did this and she's invisible, right? Like, Correct. Yes. Then, if she was on top of a tree, I, I look around and see if any maybe leaves are moving, maybe the ground, the dirt, maybe footprints, anything that would indicate something's not right. Very good. Investigation. Such an RPG or listening to a guy. <laughs> he knows, man. Hey, well, I, dro I dropped my dice, so you know, I'm such well, an that's RPG. Good. That's a fumble, ain't it? Fumble, fumble, fumble. <laughs> Bumble. She, walks into she dives feet first out and hits you in the face. <laughs> 18. 18. 18. Uh, you do notice that the limb that she was on is kind of wobbly. Okay. I, I don't know. I like to check a pebble. Something that wouldn't hurt, but something that I could know it's there, you know. What's Phineas on your shoulder? Oh, I, I throw Phineas on the ground and then I chuck a pebble. Uh, no, I'm not a sack of crap here. Oh, you are to me. So I chuck him on the ground and I throw the pebble. <laughs> and he absolutely is a sack of crap. Let's all establish that right now. <laughs> he is enough. Uh, uh, go ahead at disadvantage. See if you hit something. <laughs> a 12. <laughs> a 12? Yeah. Uh, 12. That's that's a miss. Uh, 
Phineas retorts with, you're an oaf. Let me show you how this is done. Oh, crap. He's, takes out a gold piece and sidearms it. Oops. I seem to have hit Hoggis in the back of the head with the coin. <laughs> no what? damage. What? No damage, but yeah. you get chucked in the back of the head. My apologies, my friend. My arm's a little bit tender still. Uh -huh. If I'm anywhere I'm close, proud. I'm going to scoop that coin up. <laughs> how, 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 how the pebble? You're hanging around copious too much, old man. The pebble missed. Uh, Phineas decided to go ahead and chuck a gold piece in the same direction, but mysteriously, he was uh, low and to the left where your head was at. Okay. Accidentally, I'm certain. Otherwise, he probably We're would have hit copious. Back in the <laughs> What did we do? Did we somehow come across Copia's cousin or half brother or something? Uh, uh, split at birth. Oh my god! This is an evil twin. Oh, okay. Clone. We got a clone. I, I got to be honest. This isn't the evil one, in my opinion. <laughs> it's Mini Me. I should uh, call him Mini Me. You're the same. Uh, He's probably a foot taller than you. Hoggis, you notice that the uh, limb kind of ricochets, and on the other side of a nearby fence, uh, you see debris moving as clearly somebody invisible is fleeing. Run at, at, at a very high rate of speed, I might add. Very high run, rate Forrest, of speed. Run. That Here seems God. hard, but yeah. it seems hard. I'm going to do it. I'm going to follow the... Phineas yells out behind you, don't worry, friend, I've got her! Oh, geez. What? Oh, it hit you in the back of the head again, <laughs> causing no damage, but will require a DC 12 as he waited until you started to climb the fence to see if he could knock, accidentally knock you over. 12. Seven. You fall face first into the meadow. Okay, I'm going to put an Oops, arrow. That's like my bad. That's my bad. <laughs> You wish he was tied up to the zonkey again, don't you? Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna cut off his third leg like right now. <laughs> you know what? Uh, the hatred for my NPCs is starting to grow. For I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, what's weird is I'm the only one that usually tortures everybody. Is not. Yeah, I yeah, and you know what? Phineas likes you. He can reason with you. You are the voice of reason for this party. And he, he understands it. He is yeah. a preferred gnome. And I hate gnome. Uh, Haggis, you turn around and Phineas is like, oops, sorry. <laughs> uh, Leaf, that's two gold pieces for you. Thank you. <laughs> My apologies, friend. Look at Saturn. So, I'm hungry. <laughs> Feed me. I need it. <laughs> I request your final. Uh, from from inside, you finally see Felix low crawling out, but you also hear uh, uh, as at least one of the unconscious individuals is starting to regain consciousness. Damn it. Uh, and an expeditious <laughs> retreat might be. We well need to advised. get out of here. Yes. That, uh, I need food. I need food. There's some hardtack back in the room. I need nom nom. Hey, you got gold. I can feed you hardtack because I said I'd make sure you were fed and rationed. That's food. I, I lost. <laughs> I lost two gold already. Ah, uh, you did. Could be more. I saw you shoveling in. Now, if you want to upgrade your food, the upgrade's on you. But I will make sure you always have food and water. You know. They have a delicacy here that's not known on the mainland. Perhaps you'd like to try it. Nah, I'm pretty pretty old fashioned. I think you'd like this. I think you would like to keep your life. They call it tacos. <laughs> tacos. Tacos. <laughs> and they're very good, especially for someone like yourself. Come on, you and I, we have the same taste. We don't like <laughs> So let's let's go get some tacos. You know what? I was the lucky one. I'm buying. Let's go. You know, I'm really starting to like you, know. Uh, you know what? I like you, big man. I'm uh, going to brandish my weapon. <laughs> <laughs> you, 
He's going to take you on the far side, uh, the far corner of the foreign inn. It's called the Taco Hut. <laughs> Uh, you get in and garish colors abound in here. There seem to be stuffed animals hanging from the ceiling. Uh, but the uh, tabaxi, uh, wearing a circular hat with a pointed tip on it, uh, greets you warmly to the taco hut uh, and asks if you would like uh, some tacos or maybe some fajitas. <laughs> Chicken fajitas? Chicken fajitas. We got that. Chicken for Jesus. They, they show you to a table uh, of eight. My good man, my usual. What would you guys like? I'll try some uh, tacos, I guess. I'll tacos. take the usual as well. Everybody else? I'm buying. It's on me. I'll have <laughs> everything. Just everything on the menu. <laughs> Oh, Taco, Taco Bell Hell Night is, is a common. <laughs> Somebody doesn't want to ride a zonky in the morning. <laughs> oh, we spent a lot of time in the bushes in the morning. Uh, everybody but Haggis roll Constitution. Oh, I knew that. Haggis, Constitution at disadvantage because <laughs> you're having the full menu. Um, 21. Did we roll at advantage? 12. 12's good. 10. Nine. Nine. I got Nine. Ten. Oh, okay. Uh, everybody at least liked it or loved it. Uh, by the way, Felix, you ordering the same thing as the diminutive man. He got eight gigantic tacos and one thing called a birdo, uh, as big as the head. It's a birdo. A bordado? I wonder where he keeps it all. Oh, you'll see it in the morning. Oh, lovely. Oh. Yeah, he's so, sleeping with you, Felix. <laughs> who am I bunking with? <laughs> Felix. <laughs> Robert. <laughs> yeah. That's you could, fine. You can sleep with Phineas. You know, Felix, if you feel lucky, I'll you roll you for the top bunk. And you know what? By the way, as he's doing this, that's not a pair of dice in his hands. <laughs> <laughs> he's wanting to do something else. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna take the top bunk. You can't oh, even reach it. God, I can with a boost. Uh, who's gonna give you a boost? <laughs> there you go. You know what? I understand. With your luck, <laughs> probably not worth it. You keep uh, doing that. You can sleep on the bottom bunk with Phoenix. It's that hard. You got to roll for that one. You can. I'm right. Let's That's roll a, for it. Hit to your honor, Felix. Hit to your honor. <laughs> uh, let's roll for it. What are we rolling here? You can't resist that. Well, we both have loaded dice, so we're both rolling six. <laughs> Maybe I uh, do. I am I aware that he has loaded dice? Did I see that enough? Yeah, he got gambling? an awful lot of money in a short amount of time. Yeah, and as a gambler, am I also with loaded dice? Am I aware that he's using loaded dice? You know what, friend. Let's switch dice. <laughs> sure. Let's switch dice. Okay. You can roll yours. I think I lost. Uh, let me add them up here. 10, 16, 21. 23. 6, 2, 5, a 4, a 2, and a 1. He goes... You'll be boosting me into that top bunk, friend. Thanks for playing. <laughs> and with that, uh, we'll call it a day. <laughs> now that you've all made a new friend, Phineas Latrec, Nasta. <laughs> um, let's yeah. go with final. Let's go with final thoughts. So, AJ, what'd you think? It was good. I I'm glad that that mask is off me, and I hope that I can find something to get it put on and back on. Air. Uh copious. I'm Jason? gonna kill that gnome. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna kill that gnome. You know, I, I'm getting a flashback here because I'm pretty sure Frank wanted to kill somebody oh, just as yeah. much as you. Yeah, it was a yes, but his was an unreasonable hatred. <laughs> Gnomism at its worst. I don't see that. Uh Noodle, <laughs> what do you think? You got yourself a girlfriend. <laughs> 
I hate my girlfriend, and um, you've yeah. not even met her yet. You don't even know she likes you. All oh, right. Oh, sorry. Might be a cook. Might be a good cook. It's if you want to be happy, happy for the rest of your life. Uh, Frank, what yeah, do you think? Yeah, find out I know someone else, and I like someone else. And she's going to stop me and say, who is this other woman? She's going to put your gnome in a pot. I know. This man. What do you think, Frank? Well, <clears throat> I think I need to start singing the ballads of a uh, wonderful gnome, you know, this glorious, righteous gnome, winner of wins. And, you know, he's just a hell of a guy because I guarantee he will accept me to be the writer of his story and tale, unlike some other jackasses who pass over their counterpart. You know, a gnome knows how to deal with a bard. There we go. Gnomes know. Uh, Nick, what'd you think? Uh, I, I liked it. Yeah. I just Sorry about it. your head. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> that was in case you were puzzled. Intentional. <laughs> He's going to lose his favorite feature, and it's going to be. I'm going to laugh. Not till after he gets you to the ruins, and you guys all die. I mean, uh, until everybody's made rich. Uh, finally, uh, Frank Senior. What'd you think? Well, I think copious is a hat and a hard time dealing with somebody that acts like him. And I think uh, Frank, the middle Frank's got a lot to explain to the little Frank when we're all done here tonight. I'll leave it to his mom. No, oh, oh yeah. I'll let her watch the video. Hey, can you explain what's going on here for you? <laughs> I don't know what you're playing with that guy anymore. <laughs> Sundays are out. Uh, folks, this has been Burger Hobo Inc., the Margu campaign. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our archive. If you want to buy our crap, it's down there. If you want to join us in Discord, it's down there. Most importantly, if you want to see Talk Show or One Shot, let us know. M Hobo Inc., Twitter or Gmail. Uh, for all of us here, don't forget to go to oddfishgames.com. Uh, catch in on their Saturday 4 p.m. show. Uh, should be fun. Uh, Pirate Dog Dice Etsy store going live as soon as I get off my dead ass. Don't know when that's going to be because I'm lazy. <laughs> uh, other than that, folks, have a great rest of the weekend. Thanks for watching. Uh, we will catch you later. Everybody wave and the producer will get us out of here.